Is your car head unit stuck up on the logo and does not start? Then this video is the one you're looking for. In this video I will be showing you two ways to fix this loop problem. The first one, is to reset your head unit by using the physical reset button. Just press the reset button for at least 10 seconds using a pin and the system should restart. I hope this works for you, this first step actually worked for me but it only lasted for few days and same problem reoccurred. But if it didn't work, then, let's proceed to the next one. This only means that there is a problem on your firmware. To solve this, we just need to update the firmware. And, to do that, simply contact your supplier or manufacturer and ask for the latest firmware update for your device, just simply specify the model of your head unit. Once firmware is acquired, you will need a blank USB flash drive and format it to FAT32, and then paste the files in the USB drive uncompressed with the original file names. While powered up, insert the flash drive to the USB port connected to the unit. Location of this port may vary on different brands, please be sure you connect to the correct one. Using a pin, press the reset button, this is normally found on the side or back of the unit. Some are exposed and some are accessed through small pinholes. Once reset button is pressed, the system should restart and wait until the logo reappears. Then, immediately cut off the power by removing the ignition key. If you can't contact your manufacturer, you can also get some custom firmware that worked on other users which you can find on forums and online communities but please do this on your own risk. Please take note that firmware are tightly integrated with a specific device designed for specific features and functions, so not all head units can be hacked or modded and may be damaged. Wait for about 10 seconds and reinsert key to power up the system. This will reboot the system and update should start automatically. As you can see, I have a TS10 model for my head unit. You need to check first what model type you have so you will need what firmware to look for. You can do this by checking it at the back of your device, in the manual or by simply asking your supplier directly. This update may cause steering wheel button functions to reset, so you just need to relearn or reactivate them. Once the update is completed, the system will restart automatically, but if not, then pressing of the reset button will do the trick. The update may take about 8 to 10 minutes, so be sure not to interrupt power on the process. Now my system has been restored. Let's test different functions to check that all are working. If these procedures can't solve the problem, then ask your supplier or manufacturer or seek for professional technician, the problem may be on the hardware side. Thank you for watching, and if you found value in this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Please check out my other tutorial videos, coming up next.